safety. Tires that underinflate okay, can cause overheat, which eventually can explode. Okay, while driving, can explode while driving. All right. And also the cars that the tires which is are overinflate. Overinflated. Yes. Uh, overinflated can cause to poor car handling. Okay. The rainy season next down. Make sure you check your tires regularly. All right. Number two. Uh, For example. For example, all right, as you can see, it's raining season, the road is wet, and somehow when you're taking a corner, the car went understeer, all right, which is, you try to turn, but the grid is not there. The car keeps on going straight, due to the speed, and second, due to the correct tire regulation, all right. Most, most understeer happen because of incorrect tire pressure, which is overinflate. The tire is too hard, right? It's too full, which it can't really grip, right? So it can cause also, let me say, let me go to number two, which is the economy. Okay. Stop saying okay. Ah. <laughs> the economy. The economy. Yeah. Right. Over or underinflated tires suffer more damage. Suffer, suffer more damage than those with the correct pressure. And need to be replaced more. And need to be replaced. And need to be replaced more often. Alright. That also increase rolling resistance. Don't understand that. Huh? Don't resistance. understand that. What do you mean by rolling? Rolling and resistance. Rolling resistance? Yeah, and resistance between the tires and the road. Okay. The you friction. explain. Yeah. So okay. Resistance between the tires and the road. Uh-huh. This is friction. Uh-huh. And requires more fuel, which uh -huh. is going to cost an our economy to improve <coughs> or maintain at the same speed compared to the one that has a correct tire pressure. Right? Normally, the under the under inflated tires can cause a lot more fuel. This is because uh. this is because the rolling resistance. See, the tires are a bit it's like it's more like less inflated, so. The, the gap, I mean like the rubber that touch the road is too much. Right? More Even contact yeah, area. More, more contact area. Between? Between the road and the tire. Okay. And number three, I would like to touch about the environment. Right? Correct tire pressure helps to maintain fuel efficiency. Like just now I said in number two. This can equate to lower CO2 emission coming from the vehicle. Right. You don't have to press it too hard to get to what speed because the correct tire pressure you just have to like slam it and the car will blow. Instead of you really have to force it to blow. Therefore, tires and their condition can often be difference between life and death on the road. So I urge all of you to check on your tire pressure on a regular basis. Wait, wait. I've not heard anything about life and death and accident. So the first you said just now understeer. Yeah, the second is an you didn't you didn't make, give examples. You didn't explain. Well, understeer is really. Understeer, it? Yeah, understeer is actually okay. Let me tell you about the difference between understeer and oversteer. Understeer means when you turn the car and turn a corner, and the car didn't turn, the car just goes straight, and which is you are actually more likely like a speeder. The car just goes straight and. That a few years, years ago. Yeah. Not few. Last month I have uh, last <laughs> month I have experience of understeer. Ah. In Genting. It's because of our try to avoid a car. So I have to avoid and when I turn it back, the car didn't want to follow my steering. This is because this is because my tire was under inflated. This is over over inflated. This is because my tires was over inflated. It didn't even grip at all. So I was straight away go to the nearest wall, right? So just imagine if you are with a family inside and you have small kid at the back without safety child. Without? Without any safety child protection and everything. Imagine that will happen to your family, right? Therefore, I suggest and I urge all of you to check your tire pressure on a regular basis, right? As this is the difference between life and death, 
on the road. So monitor always and maintain your tire pressure at the correct tire. Before I go, before I end my presentation, before I end my presentation, let me write down for you. Uh, right. Let me write down for you. For you. Write me write down for you the correct pressure for your tires. Go. <laughs> Let me write down for you the correct. For you, pressure write down for you. For your tires, right? Go write down to you. Write down for you. Write down for you. Okay. Let's say you are using on seventeen. Okay. You are using on wheel seventeen inch, which is normally for my previous thing is about two two five. No, 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 that is for the untypical values. Yeah. Give a typical value for a typical car with a typical tire. Okay. Yeah. 17 inch is 6.5. No! 17 inch is big! Um, 14 inch! Okay, for, yeah, that's why this is what I'm going to do to highlight for you guys. Many of you may not realize when you open up the front door at the door sill. There's the speaker indicates what the right tire pressure in PSI and KPA is. Now who who is the clever guy who put the tire <laughs> pressure on the door? Should it be on the tire or no, somewhere no, near? Right. right on the tires. Okay, let me let me let me elaborate on the tires. Okay, there's a few things. Okay, let's just say this. There's a few things that stem on here which some of you might not notice and might not read. One, the tires only show maximum uh, tire pressure. Okay. And number two, you might also not see there's a right round like this. It shows like let's say 25, 1, 5.